All right, folks, moving right on along to our second fight of the night. Please welcome making his way to the blue corner, Connor Eskridge. Connor Eskridge making his way to the ring. Blue team got it going on. We got to give our refs a shout out. Who's refing tonight, Danny? We got to get the names of the refs so we do them. The guys are working hard in there. Connor Eskridge looks ready to go. He is focused in. Yeah. Nickname King Teflon. And he got 50 cent as his. Uh, 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 uh. says his fight style is dangerous. So, <laughs> you know, only one fight coming into the cage saying your fight style is dangerous. You know that this is what this guy likes to do. He likes to get in there. He's probably going to be having some fun, but he's going in for the kill right away. Yeah, let me correct that. That's 50 Cent verse, but that's uh, Pop Smoke, R.I.P. Pop Smoke, who was killed in Cali, who's, who's, this is who's song this is. So, but yeah, yeah, this, this song. For my hip hop heads out there. And he's fighting out of punch porch. And now his opponent making his way to the red corner, Cody Russell. All right, Cody Russell, what you got for us on Cody? Cody Russo making his way to the cage. One thing about him, coach, he says the thing that he brings to this fight that his opponent cannot match is his resilience, his heart, and his dedication. Mm -hmm. So, when we look at it, we got one guy that says he's dangerous and one guy that says he's got the most heart that nobody can match. So it means we got one guy that doesn't quit and one guy that keeps going, which means this could be a hell of a banger tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But the left is going to fly. Let's go. Let's go. It's always interesting to see these, you know, new guys step in the cage. You never know what they're going to bring. Yeah. You know, it's crazy, too, hearing songs and, you know, me being who I am, I always try to, uh, coaching-wise, you know, songs can always motivate you and get you too hyped up and make you have that oh, adrenaline yeah. dump right away. So, Especially uh, being new, you know? Yeah. Like, you don't know what you're going to feel like walking that cage for the first time. Yeah, yeah. So it's make a big deal. You know, adrenaline dump is a big deal. And the person who can control it more is definitely important. These young men look ready to go, though. Yeah, Fight fans, this contest yeah, is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the myself. NFA Lightweight Division. <laughs> brought to you tonight by Sub-Zero Wellness. <laughs> Introducing first to my right, fighting out of the blue corner. Is a girl. dangerous fighter, hitting 5'10", weighed in 153 pounds. He holds an amateur record, one win, zero defeats. Representing the punch porch and fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Connor King Teflon Eskridge. Is a bunch to my left, fighting out of the red corner. So mixed martial artist, standing five foot eleven, weighed in one hundred and fifty-five pounds. Tonight he is making his amateur debut, representing Gladiator MMA and fighting out of Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Cody Russell. He's down from the he boot part of Missouri. The action, Bess. Down from the boot. That's in Missouri. We call that the boot part. You know what I'm saying? All right, these young men about to get it on. Bruce Holmes says his fight style is MMA, so I mean, he's, you know, believes he's a complete fighter. Yeah. That's yeah. what you want to be in this sport. You can't have holds, you know? Yeah, got to be well-rounded. Oh, looks uh, like the, the door cage door by. wasn't locked all the way. <laughs> These yeah. guys are ready to go. They're taking it from <laughs> him. They're ready to go at it. Here we go. Right. Here we go. Round one. Good sportsmanship going on. We got both traditional fighters here. Eskridge with some feints. Trying to get Rusam to react Ooh, to him. Big looping right. overhand from Mesk. Ouch. I felt that leg kick. Good outside egg kick. From I don't Eskridge. want none of those, homie. Sam, how do them leg kicks feel when you're in there? They're hard, man. They'll take it out of you, especially in a long fight, too, man. You can't put pressure on that. You can't move the same way. Eskridge throwing, throwing lots of looping punches, trying to get these to land. You know, he threw that right overhand, throwing a left hook. You know, that's the, the thing going for home runs, man. You got to be complete. Ooh. Nice. Eskridge attempted not. kick. <laughs> Rusam caught it, tried to counter with the straight of his own, just barely oh, missed. Good teep, good teep right there. Nice teep front kick. Eskridge having a lot of success with these kicks early on. Oh, yeah. He might want to set him up a little more because, you know, you don't want these to be too predictable. And be countered just like oh, this. Snap. Took one to the face. He ate it like a champ. He didn't eat that one like a champ. All right, this Rusam could be over. going in for the finish here. Is he, he's going to have like the Looks like Eskridge is still in there. He's inviting him in. He wants him in his guard here. 
He wants him in the guard. These Russo guys are good for first all year fighters. Over him. Not even worrying about he's, passing guard. He is just he's throwing He's eating those, him. though. He's eating them. He's eating them. He's trying. Oh, this. Oh, my gosh. Somebody better call the law. Ruslan just all over him, landing big shots. Eskridge back to his feet, though. Looks Tony like he's still the in there, ready to go. Maybe a little tired from that exchange, though. You know, that was a lot of work trying to stay alive there. He looks like he's still in it, though. Just going to recover here for the rest of this round. There's a lot of time left. His legs are wobbly, though. Not oh. Oh, somebody's mouthpiece. The ref had to stop it. Somebody's mouthpiece is out. He's letting it go down. He had the ref got to stop this mouthpiece is out. He need to stop the action. Okay, he stops it. We don't want anybody to lose the two. Yep. Rusam has mouthpiece flying out. Man, Connor took some big shots, and he's still in there. These guys, this can't be their first fight. They're, they're going there like they've been here for a while. Well, I guess Eskridge, needs to, Eskridge needs to set up those leg kicks more and start landing some more kicks like he was early on, but he needs to have more setups. You can't throw him naked like that, or he's going to yeah. get countered, and uh, Rusam's going to be able to push his way in again. And that, you know, he almost finished it last time. He was landing a lot of shots. That's definitely what got him ahead in this round so far. Yeah, he caught another. Oh, he caught another Eskridge kick. Eskridge still throwing naked kicks, though, and this is what happens. He didn't drop this time. Oh, my gosh. Rusam just throwing volume every time he gets the opportunity to get in close. Yeah, Rusam you know. definitely looks like he wants to push push in towards the cage here. He needs some com yeah, Connor definitely needs to put some combinations to go yep. on. Yep, yes, 100%. Great round, though. Great round. Guys got after it. You know, everybody loves a slugfest, but the, the sweet science is to hit and not get hit, right? Yeah. That's the sweet science of, of well, combat. Round number two, once again, this fight is brought to you by Sub-Zero Wellness. Sub-Zero Wellness is an all-inclusive recovery studio offering whole body cryotherapy, stretching, massage, infrared sauna, and Norma Tech compression to get you back to training with less pain and inflammation. Play hard, recover fast, live well. Sub Zero Wellness. And shout out to our ring girl, Taylor Scott. We see you, sweetie. Thank you for doing your job tonight. Yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, kind of throwing some, some good, good leg kicks. And man, for Cody's first fight, he's, he's all over it. He's Round number Cody's two coming out. Arnold bit. Missouri hey, makes some noise. Kind of right. Eskridge looks like he probably recovered a little bit. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. he needed after that big exchange early on in that last round. He's going to press the action here. You know, so everybody's feeling a little pain. You know, how much important is that W to you? Eskridge taking the center of the cage here. Still and throwing those kicks, but no setups yet. They took a little Both off men's some hands extremely low here. Yeah, they took a little off some of the power. That first round probably warmed down a little bit. You know, they're going in kill shots. Now they got to yep. take a little power off. Oh, my God. Get, get a little more accurate. Ah, that leg kick, though. Oh. He hasn't Esker's checked the leg kick at yet. him here, trying to get him to maybe commit to something. Eskridge throwing some good kicks, but I think if he could set him up a little more, maybe cut some angles, maybe jab his way in, he could land these, and he'd probably be doing a lot more damage. Like you said, Coach, Rusam looked like he might have been limping a little bit just off the few he landed early on. If he can find a way to land him more, not miss so much, not give up such a big hole after the fact, he might, be ha he might have a lot more success with it. Yeah, it seems like Cody doesn't want to go to the ground. Uh, Connor seemed like he wasn't afraid to go to the ground, but I don't know, we're standing up. It's, it's definitely a kickboxing uh fight right now. Good teep again. Connor Rus has some nice teeps. Rusam, uh, Rusam managing to, s to slip all these punches with his hands really low, but but man, some of them are coming really close, and Eskridge is throwing some s throwing some heavy overhands and big looping punches. Connor's doing a better job of coming in and out. If you really look, he gets in, right? Cody's backed up, now he's back out of there. Strike, now he's out, right? It'd be better if he gets the combination going, but he's doing a better job of managing the distance, and we all know Whoever controls the distance controls the fight. Look at that. He's in. Got a kick. Closed the distance again. Just a little sloppy ah, on the entry. And there it is. You right. know? He did a better trying combination. To, trying to overcommit to that big shot. He gave up the position here. Ruslan's going to try to keep this back, maybe get Eskridge down to the mat. Eskridge doing a good job of keeping that top hand away yeah. from Lockin. Keeping that hand control. I mean, that's any sport. Eskridge needs to get his back to the cage and turn and chin. face. Just Good. like that. Oh, and took a right to the face here. Ah, he's just going so crazy with his his punches, but he, man, he's dogging his leg out. 
These guys are going at it. What a great fight. Connors, if he's back controlling the distance, he can outpoint him here. You know, Cody, you can see he took a deep breath. Uh, that oh, round good right hand him. landed by Rusan there. Connor ran out of there, got the distance going. Ah, man. When you throw hard like that and you miss, that takes a lot of energy away right there. Closing up. We have had one about closing the fingers. Do you think we ever get rid of that in our sport? Uh, it's a tough one, man. Uh, you know, like, because there are accidental eye pokes in the sport, but on the other end, that's something you got to be wary of because you can't be, you can't be poking people in the eye. Yeah, he just got poked just you know, now. Well, I've seen there's too many fights where it's caused an issue, and, you know, the fighters lose their fight, the fans lose their fight, everyone loses a fight due to one little little thing someone's not paying attention to. So hopefully, hopefully Rusam's able to go on here and it's not too big of an issue. I, yeah. I couldn't quite see exactly what happened. Yeah, I think he was trying Looks to control Looks like we're going to get the doctor in here to yeah. look at it. Yeah, the eye pokes are definitely something that's been going on in MMA for years. And, you know, yeah. I don't know if we'll ever figure out. Uh, Man, this is this has been a firefight <coughs> so far. Yeah. So hopefully this gets to keep going. Yeah, this, this, I want to keep seeing it. This has been awesome, man. We're just loving it. Yeah, so uh, definitely doctors looking at it. Um, oh, no, I think they're going to call uh, it. They're going to call the fight there. So I don't know if uh, Rusam was – Unable to go on himself, or if the doctor said he's not going to be able to. It's always a sad thing to see, man. You know, fights stop him due to eye pokes. Not what you want to see, especially in a fight like this where both guys are going at it, really trying to get the win here. Yeah. I mean, they definitely lived up to what they said about themselves, you know, saying they're resilient, saying they got heart, saying they're dangerous. I mean, all those things were shown in the round and a half that we got to watch from this fight. It's really a shame that it's got to end to an eye poke. Maybe they'll get to run it back sometime. Yeah, man. I mean, those guys definitely getting after it. I mean, the doc has to do what's best for the fighters. I mean, that's the, yeah. the best thing we got to do is definitely look out for our guys and our fighters and take care of them. They put in the training all day. Definitely great fight, gentlemen. Nothing to hang your head about. Eye pokes happen. So we definitely appreciate it. So, man, that eye poke some serious. So it's gonna be, is this gonna be considered a no contest, Sam? Is that where we're going with this? I think, uh, looks like our ring announcer's coming out. I'm gonna see exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it certainly looked like it was accidental. We couldn't see too much of it. It looks like it's probably gonna be a no contest. We have to have official decision right Ladies now. Ladies and gentlemen, due to doctor stoppage resulting in an unintentional eye poke, we have a draw here tonight. A draw. Great job. We got some booze. Come on, fans. Give them young men. We're putting it out there. Yeah. You know, that was a great fight. <laughs> Big applause from the crowd here. It sounds like everybody wants to see that run back. Definitely you know, a great and fight. Yeah, it was a good fight. 